Skin cancer encompasses a variety of different cancer types. The most common skin cancers are basal cell and squamous cell. There's millions of cases even just in the United States of those types of cancers. But the most deadly form of skin cancer is melanoma. What's most striking about melanoma in skin cancer is the rapidly rising incidence that's occurred over um, the last 50 years or so. If you look back to the 1950s, the incidence of melanoma was in about 1 in 1,500 people, and today it's about 1 in 50 in Caucasian population. So the risk factors for skin cancer development and specifically for melanoma development, number one thing is sun exposure and more sun exposure. If you've had a parent um, or a sibling with with melanoma, it does increase your risk slightly that you could get melanoma as well. It's not that you're necessarily inheriting a gene like people hear about in breast cancer or other cancers, but there's still patterns within families that will increase their risk of melanoma and skin cancer development as well. It's not just actually moles in the skin that can lead to melanoma. Melanoma forms from a cell called a melanocyte. Melanocytes are uh, cells in your skin and their job in normal conditions is to produce pigment in response to sun. So it's the one that kind of tries to protect your skin from the UVA and UVB damage that occurs. And they're actually throughout the skin and that's why you can see melanomas in non-sun exposed areas because you have melanocytes everywhere. Moles in particular do increase one's risk of melanoma. I think it's telling us something about your skin type and your predisposition for, for melanoma development. What separates it from other cancers is one, people don't think that things on the skin can be deadly. So as people are, you know, worry about moles and other things, people think of that as a cosmetic issue, not really a medical issue, but it is just as serious, uh, if not more so than some other types of cancers, even though it happens externally, it can still affect other organs in the body.